What's up guys, Tim Wilson here from Tim Wilson UK and welcome back to the fourth and final round of the 2019 Masters from Augusta National. We have an absolutely unassailable lead going into this final round, so let's get this, uh, let's get it underway and let's see if we can stretch that lead even further. We are currently playing with the pro clubs on hard difficulty for the AI. It has proven to be not much of a challenge, to be honest with you. The AI has not come to the party. Having spoken to somebody else that has commented on the video, they have said that um, even on the very hard difficulty, the AI has not proven to be that much of a challenge. So, uh, you know, I think it's something that they do need to address in the uh, in the, the upcoming games, this massive gulf between hard and very hard. And when the course becomes more challenging and the you know the wind conditions become more challenging that the uh, the AI steps up as well. Maybe there needs to be some kind of a competition type AI. I I'm not sure what the answer is. So round three of the Masters, real Masters, absolutely brilliant. I mean, it's so tight going into that final round today. It is going to be absolutely phenomenal to watch it. So it's going to be a little bit different to watch it. The guys teeing off in three balls here in the UK um, I think the tea time starts at about half past 12 um, that's just after lunchtime let's just get this putt going yep birdie on the first um, half past 12 the live coverage starts at about 2 p.m. and that was due to the predicted weather conditions that we're going to be at, um, at Augusta so they've decided to get the guys teed off nice and early just to try and avoid that weather because it could become very, very disjointed. And it was quite interesting to hear, listen to the commentators yesterday. Watching the, I was watching the, the featured groups yesterday with uh, Poulter and Woods and uh, Mickelson and Kucha. And the commentators were saying that the, the people that are actually at the top of the leaderboard, especially the people that are you know, the youngsters that haven't actually won a major so far, the likes of um, <clears throat> Chauvelet. Teeing off a little bit earlier may actually work in their favour because of the fact that they aren't, you know, they're, they're not major thoroughbreds, the likes of, you know, Mickelson and Woods and Kepka. You know, these guys have been there and done it. That um, it may actually work in the, the young guys favor in the fact that they, they don't have a lot of time to sit and think about it and I think um, the commentators were right there and it'll be interesting to see what happens today I mean let's be honest there's probably 10 15 guys that could still win this thing this year and it always happens at the Masters I mean it's an apps oh geez that was terrible yeah it always happens at the Masters there's there's always some little curveball in there that uh, it does make for such an interesting round. And nobody really gets that far away. Alright, so that was for birdie. We messed up the, uh, the eagle shot. Went straight in the bunker. So we are going to pick a par up on two today. And that's like giving one back on this hole. It's not a difficult hole. I didn't particularly play it that well. But as I said, if you look at the, look at the lead I've got, uh, one under through the two holes, 20 under par for the three and a bit rounds, 37 shots clear. So there's a couple more um, European, well, not, I say not Europeans, non-Americans creeping onto the leaderboard now. Maximilian Kiefer's on there as well. Right, hole number three, short par four. The bits and pieces in the commentary yesterday were quite interesting on this hole because they were saying that, you know, the length of the hole does not depict how difficult the hole is. And that's purely down to the green itself and the pin positions, pin locations. And this is a really good example of that. I mean, this pin is tucked so tightly into that position there. 
that um, it is really difficult to get close. Especially when the greens, I mean the greens aren't playing that hard today, or that fast. They're one six three, um, so at least they're not playing, you know, very fast. I think it would be absolute, an absolute nightmare if they were playing fast. Ooh, that still rolled on a fair whack though. Five feet now to save the par. Oof, only just made that one. So nine under par is the benchmark. That's the best round I've had. I had a nine under par in two and three. So let's see if we can replicate that. That's a slight headwind there. If I loft that club up, I'm not sure. I think this is going to be too long still. This is going to be a horrible, horrible putt coming back if it is too long. Yeah, it is too long. Terrible swing line as well. All right, 49 feet, one foot downhill. If I get this within three or four feet, I'll be lucky. It's just getting this going. Once it hits that slope, it's gonna just start to roll. There, you can see it now. Didn't roll as far as I thought it was going to. Eight feet now for the par. So I've left myself a tricky little par putt here. Made that so much harder than it needed to be. Four holes in the bag already. Still only one under par. Pin locations on the Sunday are always really, really tough. I'm looking forward to 16 because that is one of the nicer pin positions. It does um, does lend itself to putting it, putting the ball sort of in the middle of the green and letting it feed down to the left-hand side. But uh, let's see how we play that one. I'm looking forward to that. In fact, I'm looking forward to the back nine here altogether. Bit of fast there, that's going to be in the bunker. All right, so not having a great round here this final round so far. I was going to say I need to hit the flag, but not that hard. Oh my goodness me, can you believe that? Hit the flag and end up back in the bunker. Unbelievable. Right, so we are going to get a bogey here on five and that's going to take us back to level par. It's a good thing we do have that massive cushion ahead of the AI, otherwise we would be we'd be dropping a shot unnecessarily here. <clears throat> right, back to level par. I'm not going to be scoring nine under unless I can rip the back nine to pieces. That's a tough pin position, really tough pin position. That's going to be too long. I may even try and putt it from off the fairway here. It is fairway, so it's slightly uphill. Didn't give it any beans at all. And I've left myself another tricky putt. I am making this final round so much harder than it needs to be. Making some really good clutch putts though. So we didn't manage to get away with the bogey free round. We bogeyed, I think it was four. Be interesting to see where the pin position is here on seven today because this is uh, this is quite a tricky green. <clears throat> it's fronted by three really big bunkers. All right, so the pin is in that little bowl. Nine 
19 feet, so that is, that's playing about 151. Get up, get up. I'll take that, I'll take that. That's probably the best shot I've played so far today. Let's see if we can capitalize on that. Yes. All right, so the drop shot on four, we get back on seven. Let's see if we can push on now. Par five, eighth hole. Not reachable in two, not with the pro clubs anyway. Got a slight tailwind, but I don't think it's really gonna help. Because it does roll, well, I say it rolls uphill. It slopes uphill there. Still 296, 240 to the flag, but we've got 18, 18 yards to add to that because of the elevation. So it is, that's going to be difficult to get to in two. I'm going to give it my best. I think we're going to. It's just going to creep onto the front edge. Is it going to hold? It's, it is going to hold. We made the green. That's the first time we've made the green in four rounds. Only just made the green, I might add, but made the green nonetheless. Ooh. Right, we got the birdie. 2 under par through 8. Keith Mitchell, Cook, Abraham Anser, Xander Chauvelet, Webb Simpson. It's quite interesting that you actually see that because um, Chauvelet, Simpson, Johnson, Fowler are all right there in the real Masters as well. So it is, uh, it's quite good to see that. Alright, let's get this... Final hole on the front nine going. Hit a fast, but the slope should push that back to the right a little. Yep, yeah, we're safely in the fairway. 137 to this flag in that middle tier. That club should be absolutely spot on. So we do have a downhill lie. Ooh, we are going to come up a bit shy. I think we are going to come unstuck. Yes, we are. That's not going to stop. That little bit of loft I added to it, I shouldn't have added it. That has come all the way back. I'm now 40 yards away. 30 yards. Right, now we've got a tricky little putt coming back. Let me put that on the right edge because I think I am on a little bit of a slope where I am now. Yeah, didn't move much at all. It, it was right edge. It did go in right edge. And that is the front line concluded. Two under par. Tenth hole. This is, this is where... For me, this is where the Masters comes alive. These holes on the back nine are just incredible. Apart from 14 and 17, which I'm not a massive fan of, which I've, uh, I've mentioned to you guys before. I'm not a big fan of 14 and 17, but everything else is just fantastic. All right, I'm going to play that as it lies, because we have got a slight... Well, we have got a headwind. Got a slight downhill lie. That ball going to come back? It is coming back a little bit. I think it's going to be too long still. That's okay. That's okay. I'm not grumbling about that at all. And stick that there. 16 feet. So we've got to be careful this doesn't run too far past. Oh no, we are 
more than the, more than the distance we had on the original putt. We've now got 20 feet back up the hill. I really hit that way too hard. That didn't turn at all, and now we are dropping a shot on 10. I really do enjoy the 10th hole, but it is an absolute killer. I think I saw it with stroke index 2, so it is an absolute killer. Back to one under par, so definitely struggling on this final round, but as I said, we are so far ahead that it doesn't really make too much of a difference, and the guys aren't really competing and pushing me here in this final round. So I don't feel like I'm under any kind of pressure, but one under par, still uh, still a reasonable score. All right, so this hole's playing incredibly long today. It's over 230 yards to the flag, probably playing 224. And that went that went right why did that go right and that is I'm gonna be a good f wow that that's gonna be almost impossible I think I'm gonna have to aim up here and I still think I'm gonna come away from the hole, massive distance away from it. I'm not entirely sure I've given that enough welly. No. So we are in, we are in trouble here on the 11th. So that is, this could be back to back bogeys on 10 and 11. Maybe I don't like the back nine so much. Yeah, it's going to be bogeys on 10 and 11. That is not good at all. Back to level par. Yo-yoing a little bit here. <clears throat> right, number 12, the par 3. Probably the most iconic par 3 in... <coughs> Sorry, other than the 17th at TPC Sawgrass. This is probably the most iconic of par threes on the planet. That is playing 156. That pitched pretty much pin high. You'll see that pitch mark right next to the hole you can just see it off to the right there let's see if we can pick up the pick up the birdie here oh no kidding me all right we get the par disappointing that was to be that close and not pick up the birdie. All right, par five. We should, if we can hit a decent drive here, we should be in good shape. There's a big if here. Ball should be above my feet, which it is. 195 to the flag. Oh, that needs to get up, otherwise we could be in trouble here. We are in trouble. <laughs> oh no! All these holes that I'm throwing away here. Not having a great round at all. Alright, so I've got this for par now. Oh, 
Right, we pick up the par after going in the water. Happy with the outcome. Could have been a lot better, but happy with it nonetheless. A par is better than a bogey, I suppose. So 14, pretty nondescript hole, not one of my favourites. Let's see where they've got the pin today. Right in the back on the right hand side. That should come round to the right. There it comes. That's not a bad shot. Eight feet, a little bit of swing. Get in. Yes, all right, we have a birdie. A long, long time coming, that birdie. One under par. So I did take a, a, a cheeky little bet on the Masters this year. What I did was I put a... Come on, come back in. Come back in. Oh, nearly. An each way bet on 10 golfers. And currently, and the bet is actually paying, it's, it's paying for the first 10 places. And I actually have six out of the 10 golfers currently in the top 10. So it's looking good at the moment. I'm just hoping it stays pretty much the way it is at the moment. Um, some of the ones that I've got, Molinari, Kepka, Woods, Poulter, Fowler, Rahm, Chauvelet. The ones that have fallen out already are Casey, and Casey was my tip for the win. And, and I can't remember who the other one that's gone, but uh, two dropped out after the cut, two didn't make the cut. But... Um, I've still got eight in there and six are currently still inside the top ten. So I'm hoping for a good result come the end of today. As I say, you know, I didn't put a lot of money on these and um, the payouts are reduced quite significantly when you're playing each way ten places. So, you know, we're not expecting lots and lots of returns here, but um, I do always like to put a little bet on the Masters. And I always tend to do pretty well. I remember back in when Bubba won his first one, I put a bet on him, and I think it was an outside bet. I think I put a bet on him, and he was something like 45 to 1. And um, he came in, so I was pretty pleased. I've been pretty fortunate with the, uh, with the outcome of the Masters. All right, so here's the 16th. This is the one where... It all funnels down to this pin position here. So I'm going to move this over a bit. I'm going to drop it down to the 165. And I'm going to try and let this run up. So the wind should take it back down to the right. But the slope should bring it back down to the left. Let's see if it works that way. So it should hit this. Oh, what? Didn't quite make the slope. That's the... Oh, no, I didn't play that well at all. Didn't play that well at all. But we roll it up fairly close to the hole. We're still under par for the round. Two holes to play. And it looks like we are going to be getting the virtual green jacket here this year. Molinari, look at that. Just pitched up on the leaderboard. Incredible, incredible. I think I've taken too much off of that, or have I? 
Oh, what a bounce. Get up and over. It's not. I thought I was going to be in the bunker to start with. Not in the bunker, but uh, didn't quite make that shelf. Okay, that's, uh, that's good. I thought it may come up a little bit shy and end up coming back down the slope, but it worked out all right. I'm glad I did club up to the 10-yard chip. All right, let's head into the final hole. Then we'll have a quick butchers at the leaderboard before we call it a day. The 18th. It would be nice to see a few more, few more people in the crowd on the 18th because that funnel really does get absolutely packed on the 18th. I mean, just looking at it yesterday when uh, Poulter and Tiger were there, they were absolutely rammed left and right. On 71, eight mile an hour wind. Pin should be down front left, it is. Oh, get up, get up. That should stop because it is uphill there. That's good. Eight feet for the birdie. Can we finish off the round with a birdie? That would be nice. No. Three feet past. Let's see if we can tap this in. Four feet now to convert the par. And we're in. That's the Masters 2019 from Augusta National done. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. So second place, Cook, Keith Mitchell, Ricky Fowler, Abraham Anser, Webb Simpson, Lahiri, Ryan Moore, Dustin Johnson, and Francesco Molinari make up the top 10. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And more importantly, I hope you enjoyed this series. If you did, hit that like button. Leave some comments in the box below. And if you'd like to see continued videos around the majors, and other golf tournaments this year, then please do subscribe to the channel. But until next time, guys, take care. Thanks again for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye now.